Hi, hope you're all right, you've had a nice day. I've been to Lidl, all right. It's not like a full on shop. It's um, everything that I need to make a Corea, like bits and bobs that I needed, because I really fancy a Corea, honestly. I've been craving this for ages, like a proper Corea. So I don't think I'm gonna do it very well, you know, but I'll try. So yeah, I'm not using a jar or anything. I have got a rescue jar in for the kids in case they um, are not happy. So yeah, I'm gonna do theirs on a like smaller scale of spices and stuff. But yeah, failing that, I have got a jar of corn off for the kids because you know, it's quite mild and stuff. So yeah, that's what I am gonna do. Honestly, I've really fancied it. So I thought, all right, go out and get some bits. And um, yeah, I got one of these boxes. So, oh, also as well, I need to put these away. I've been to the pet shop. Shall I show you? I want to see. It's just, um, let me move these out of the way. These just go in near, well, the dog's cupboard. So yeah, I went to the pet shop. Um, the dogs have natural treats, so yeah, we go once a week and like stock them up and stuff. So they were running low. So let me show you. It is a little bit like, do you know what I mean? You might want to look away. You know, there's a few ears and stuff in here. So yeah, you might want to look away if this is like not your thing at all. You know, and you just here to see what bits I've got from Lidl for me Cora. So I'm almost certain I forgot some as well, all the time. I know I've got turmeric. What did the recipe say? My phone's dead at the minute. I am going to have, um, like a cheese curry it's not paneer i wish it was paneer but um i just couldn't get anything like that today um but yeah i'm just using like a you know real cheap halloumi style cheese so yeah um that's what i'm having the kids are gonna have chicken as well but yeah the pet shop so every week we go and um stock up the dogs you know treats and stuff so we have um these are buffalo ears i think so there's buffalo ears cow ears these are actually fur rare i've got a few of them um they're all the ears are like one pound 20 each so you know i've got a fair few ears anything fur rare is really good for your dog you know their digestive system i think it is so yeah really good for like gut health and you know anything furry and i only really learned that recently so yeah now i get the furry ears you know and crash loves these sam does as well actually but he will leave it after a while but crash will devour the whole lot and then i've got some puffed chicken feet they're like 25 for each there is i will wash my hands after all before i go mingling with my little bag there's um necks duck necks uh duck legs i think no wings they're duck wings so yeah get all kinds of duck feet these like meat chews so yeah this lasts crash a while um this actually lasts quite some time as well this is like um pork roll this is one pound 80 i think each everything's like two quid or less he loves these honestly crash loves these sam's favorite is this is sam's favorite pig snail so it looks horrible doesn't it but um crash loves these beef spaghetti so 25 peach these are and they're just sticks of spaghetti he loves them so yeah there's just a few more like duck feet and you know bits and bobs like that i'm gonna wash my hands now sticks in the cupboard wash my hands but um yeah Every week we go and get like a bag of natural treats and you know, just stocks up there like treat bin and stuff. So many years ago, honestly, we'd have things like rawhide, honestly, until you learn how bad it is. So they've never had any anything like that recently. Like it's ne not a recent thing, but you know, Sam's definitely had rawhide and I didn't see an issue with it. You know, every time I'd pop into places like home bargains and stuff, I'd grab some, you know, without realizing. You know but you learn don't you so that's the thing you know rawhide is quite bad for dogs and stuff what's in it if you actually look at you know what's in it it's quite bad so yeah i always go for natural treats and you know what dogs love bones but i recently watched a video it scared me because i'll get in these ham bones and stuff obviously you know chicken bones and that they've got to be raw and that because they can splinter if you cook them but like i was getting like ham bones and that and i watched this video where this poor dog had to be put to sleep 
only sedated, not like put to sleep sleep, you know, while they um, did surgery because his stomach was just full of bones, full of like these big bones, you know, and it, yeah, it just really made me think. So I, I don't get them bones anymore, but you know, natural treats, honestly. And they love them, they last ages, they do like them cow ears, you know, you'd think like Rottweiler, devour it in seconds honestly it lasts him ages he carries it around with him he'll go and sit somewhere else do you know what i mean like he'll go different spots in the living room in the kitchen like and go and chill with it but yeah the last a while and obviously you know you can get larger chews one of their favorite is a filled cow hoof so you can get like hoofs and you know they've got like a meaty um paste inside and they've always sold out though every time i go in they're sold out and i'm like damn because they last hours hours honestly the ears last hours as well but honestly them hoofs but yeah i'm gonna pack this away lidl do these boxes okay they are you know look 150 they had loads today i've not seen them for a while you know and i tell you what it was just reminded me of too good to go <gasps> there's so many places popped up i'm gonna have to do a too good to go i am because um there's so many places copeland's can copeland's honestly love a bit of copeland's so that's on there there's alder alder's on there now there's all kinds of different places so yeah i'm gonna have to figure out the times because always sold out when i got it but yeah have a little look but anyway these boxes you reminded me of that all of this for 150 so can you see in there there's all of that obviously you know things all need to be used sooner rather than later you know like a bit of the old lettuce and stuff but it's stuff that we're going to use so i actually put back once i'd found this box i had a bag of peppers which i needed for this curry and i put it back the three pack which were like one pound 20 because i only because they don't do them singly you see whereas i do not do them singular but they've maybe it's like split bags and stuff you know stuff like that's just come out of the packaging i don't know do you know what i mean in like the boxes at the end that have been on display um but yeah put them back save myself 120 or whatever it was and these are already in there so you get potatoes I've got a few spuds in there you know they're decent size for jackets there's some apples oranges perfect for the pack lunches for the lads bananas you know none of them are looking manky or right do you know what i mean and then there's loads of mushrooms loads of loose mushrooms and then uh radishes no end of them you know, I don't know. I know they're going salad, but you know, what else can I do with them? I don't know. But yeah, loads of mushrooms and stuff, onion. So yeah, if there were more onions, I'd have put my bag of onions back, you see, but you know, I'll go for onions anyway. But 150, honestly, this is down Lidl, so they do this like veg box. I think it's brilliant, honestly. But yeah, this, uh, hang on, this curry that I'm gonna do, honestly, I don't know what it is. I've been craving it for ages. You know, I'm just like, oh, I really want to make curry. So I'm going to do the kids a chicken one. So, because I had a ready meal chicken um, curry the other day, you know, and oh, just, do you know what I mean? I, unless I've cooked it, it makes me feel a little bit, I don't know, you know, more like, I don't really eat chicken, you know. But yeah, I've got the kids um, this. I'm going to cook all of this chicken up, shred it, take it off. Um, the bone and stuff and then pop it in there Cora. so that was £2.30 I've got some um, poppadoms as well so these are just plain poppadoms this is Kipling so we're going to have one of these with a hot chocolate after dinner what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a curry but I'm going to put everything out on the side so they can serve themselves you know and just like do you know what I mean and then we can have a hot chocolate and you know something nice for pudding after so Viennese well um, they'll like that I'm going to put some potatoes in as well. So these were reduced actually, 56p. They're just perfect, like they're already cubed. Because I had some potatoes in the fridge. Some, um, you know, like boiling the bag, like with the herb and garlic butter. But, you know, I was going to chop them up. These are perfect, like they're already done. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, don't mind my hair, will you? Oh, it needs a wash. No, it's all... I'm living through this hairstyle at the minute because my hair's really greasy. So dry shampoo, tie it back. All right, nobody knows. Well, you do now. 
But I got this. I've already opened this actually because I just quickly made a coffee. This is um, their Deluxe um, Columbia Freeze Dried Single Origin Coffee. So this was £2.09. I think I'm going through all the coffees at the minute because I don't drink the sachets. So when I run out, whatever shop I'm in conveniently, I'll grab one from there. I really like Tesco's cheap one. Got some naan bread. I've got two packs of them, so we'll all have one each. Coriander. Steve hates it. So I'm gonna have to have like separate pans on the go. No, I won't have separate pans on the go. I'll put that in after. Uh, vegetable smosas. Got some barges as well. Onions. Um, I got some tomato puree. I have got some chilli and tomato puree in the fridge and I thought, oh, I ain't gonna buy it. But Steve was like, nah, -uh, you need to get one because um, that one's too hot. Blew his tits off, honestly. He had some and he couldn't finish his meal. I don't know what I made. I think I made like a, um, what did I make? Some sort of like vegetable, like, I think it was going on sweet potato. Well, anyway, couldn't eat it. Couldn't eat it. Some sweets. Uh, mackerel this stuff's really nice uh, yeah, you know like that kind of stuff chips because I am going to make I don't eat rice with Cora so I'm just going to make a little I mean it's carb central with the naan bread and everything else but you know I really fancy it so I'm going to make like a portion of chips for everyone um, onion barges so we'll just all have like one each like one smosa because the kids you know they eat until you know they don't want to eat but i think getting loads of them like it'll just go to waste you know what i mean i know what my kids are like so eyes bigger than the belly that's what my mum always said to me your eyes are bigger than your belly um, another pack so yeah i am going to attempt to make the kids a sauce and if they like it i won't need this but this is my backup so i've not got to run out mid cooking you know and then rice, listen, I fuck rice up left, right and centre, to be honest. I never do it right. Okay, so I've got these. One's chicken flavoured. Listen, it's chicken flavoured, but it's vegan. You fucking do the maths on that one then. What's that about? It's vegan, but it's chicken flavour. And then... um some just honestly microwaveable rice you know I mash it up so it you know it's not all clogged together and it looks like you know I've done a good job and all that got some um slices of cheese these are just you know pack up choices if they want cheese because I've had um Tyler really likes these in his pack lunch so they are um chicken satay sticks so yeah he loves stuff like that in the pack up I've got some mango chutney I've got a lot of my herbs and spices, so I just grabbed some curry powder, which I think I already have actually. Damn it. And garlic granules, although I am using fresh. Uh, chopped tomatoes, I wasn't sure if I had any in, so I just grabbed some tomatoes. And the last few bits are um, this. Oh, it is halloumi. Oh, it is. I thought I got like the really cheap one. Because there is halloumi, and then there's like a cheaper um, style of halloumi. I thought I got the cheap one, but it says Haluma. So anyway, um, I've got that because I'll just like cube that and put that in mine. Like I said, the kids have got chicken. And the last thing is another one of them. So yeah, they're really nice in salad and stuff, you know. Yeah, like fish and that. But that is it. I just thought I'd show you my dog treats and, you know, me bits of my curry and stuff. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to pack it away now. But um, hope you have a good week, whatever you're up to. I won't moan about my car breaking down. All right, I've moaned about it in a video. You don't need to hear it again and again. Unless you wanna know, fucking broke down and I'm joking. No, I did and it, whoa. Yeah. But um, anyway, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna love you and leave you, unpack this away, and get the school run done. Don't let any of the kids get you down, all right? Middle finger to them, honestly, fuck them. There's so many wankers in this world. We don't need it, okay? Just tell them where to get gone, all right? You do you always, okay? You are in control of your life. You do you always, okay? One shot at this, my friends. Seriously, don't be taking a fall for, honestly. Know your worth, you're amazing. I love you, I'm gonna pack my shit away and shut up. All right, I'll see you in tomorrow's video.